Hey guys, so in today's video I have an unboxing of this month's Abominable Book Club box. So here it is, I am very excited to get this open and see what I got. It's quite heavy this month. Um, so like I said in my last video, this box is a horror book subscription box. It's here in the UK but they do ship worldwide. I'm going to leave all their details in the description box down below so if you want to know uh, more about them then you can look there. Um, also, quick disclaimer, sorry if there's a bit of background noise in this video. My son is playing on his iPad over there with a bunch of cars and stuff so there may be some background noise. But I wanted to um, get this video done because I'm really excited to see what is inside the box. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This is what it looks like on the inside. So, very exciting. So, we have the little card which explains everything that's going to be in this month's box. We then have um, the bookmark and the, um, the like, second-hand book. We then have, okay, so this is this month's treat. So in this box, I get the full guts box. So I get books plus goodies. So the goodies that I have this month are, and this is hot cross bun, um, Moorish chocolate milk. And this is handmade in Wales by Wickedly Welsh Chocolate. So that looks really cool. Hot cross bun flavors, it sounds like it's gonna be really, really nice. So it's just a nice chocolate bar and then it has obviously the expiry date and all the information on the back and I'm really excited to eat this one. Obviously in the last box we got Welsh cakes but I couldn't eat them because they have egg in so I'm very very happy to get some chocolate, really happy about that. We then get this little pouch which has our drinks inside so let's see what we have this month. I drank all the ones I had last month and they were all very tasty. So let's have a look. So we have a jasmine green tea. Love green tea. Um, I've never had a jasmine one by Twinings. We then have a Nescafe latte. I have a cappuccino in the last one. I buy them myself, I really like them. Another English breakfast by Tetley, which is one of my favorite teas. So happy about that. We have an Aero hot chocolate, love that. And then we have a coffee bag by, um, what's this, Deep and Intense, yeah, Perkadilly <laughs> uh, coffee bag. So that's really awesome, I like coffee bags, we have one in the last one. So you normally get a tea, a coffee and a hot chocolate, so that's really nice. I will be enjoying all of them. We then have a pin and it says a future ghost and it's like, I'll show you guys, it's this little green pin, it says future ghost but the pin is actually like a little long ghost. So that's really cute, I like that, I have a bag that I put all my pins on so that's really cool. And then we're going to get into the first book and I can see one of the books is a hardback so that's exciting. This first book is Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Bazterica. I probably said that wrong, but I'm just going to show you. This looks interesting. I feel like I've heard of this book. So obviously you get a horror or a thriller in each book. And actually my books in my last box, I've just finished reading and I'm going to be putting reviews up for them. Um, Soon, I don't know if before or after this video, but I have read them and really enjoyed them, so look out for reviews on that. But it says, this book will pull you in, take hold, and not let you go. My favourite read of this year. And it says, this is a compelling, terrible beauty. This novel is my heart was breaking, um, even as my skin was crawling. So, it says on the back, if everyone was eating human meat, would you... Marcos is in the business of slaughtering humans. Only no one calls them that. He works with numbers, consignment, uh, consignments, processing. One day he's given us uh, a specimen 
of the finest quality. He leaves her tied up in an outhouse, uh, a problem to be dis uh, disposed of later. But she haunts Marcos. Her trembling body and watchful gaze seems to understand and soon he becomes tortured by what he ha by what has been lost and what might still be saved. Mm. So sitting comfortably, not after the tiniest nibble of this butt churning brilliant brilliantly realised novel. Grimly engrossing with a sucker punch ending. Wow, so this sounds like it's gonna be quite gruesome. So he works basically in a slaughterhouse that kills humans. Hideous, bold, unforgivable version of the future. A thrilling dystopian that everyone should read. Wow, so that looks like it's gonna be pretty gruesome and interesting. So looking forward to diving into that one. And then our next book is this lovely hardback and uh, this one says the last house on needless street okay i haven't heard of this one it's a nice looking book i really like this with the uh the black with the white trees and the red writing um so this has like a little thing from stephen king it says i haven't read anything this exciting since gone girl i kind of wish i mean i know it looks like the um sun in the forest kind of but i kind of wish it was a peel of sticker but never mind and this is by um catrona ward i'm not i'm horrible with names you guys know this by now if you've seen my other videos i cannot pronounce people's names and it says <clears throat> a true nerve shedder that keeps its mind blowing secrets until the very end oh that's by stephen king then joe hill which i think is his son a chilling and beautiful masterpiece of suspense. I was enthralled. Yeah. Oh, this book is tender rather than terrifying. Sinister and thrilling. So, okay, this looks interesting. Oh, we have a little um, signed, a little signed thing by the author there. So that's nice. I like that. It says, you won't believe uh, what's inside the last house on Needless Street. This is a story of a murderer, a stolen child, revenge. This is a story of Ted, who lives with his daughter Laura, Lauren and his cat Olivia in an ordinary house at the end of an ordinary street. All these things are true and yet some of them are lies. You think you know what's inside the last house on Needless Street. Do you think you've read this story before? In the dark forest at the end of Needless Street, something lies buried, but it's not what you think. Okay, this is a multi-award winning author, Little Eve and Raw Blood, an extraordinary tale that thrills, moves readers in equal measure. Okay, so I haven't actually heard of this author um, or those other books before, but this sounds really, really interesting. So this sounds like kind of a horror, um, like a horror house almost a story and then we have like a gory um, a gory kind of disturbing book so these books are both really really interesting I'm really looking forward to reading both of them and like I said I really like the cover of this one but yeah so that's really really interesting I like I said love the both love both of these books and then last but not least we have our um, package here which is the um, like second hand book, second hand horror book. So the first, so you get books that are, actually we got three books again this month. I thought normally you get a magazine and two books, but we got three books again, which is just awesome. I love that. And um, so these two books, this one and the other one will be the same in every box, but your second hand book is different in every box. So everyone gets something different, which I really like. We also have a bookmark. We get one of these each month and there has a story on the back i think i saw in someone else's video it's written by um owen who i think is one of the like um owners and creators of the box so yeah he writes little horror short stories on the back which i really liked i liked last one we then have another bookmark and um we think we ought to read only the kind of books that wound and stab us by fritz Kafka, again, probably said that wrong, but yeah. 
so this is bookmarked quote by him and then um, there's a little paragraph on the back um, I'm guessing which is from a little paragraph of a book he's written an excerpt from Metamorphosis so that's cool I'll read that later I really like that so yeah on to this book I am excited open it up and have a look what I got. Oh, I'm really excited to read those two other books. They look awesome. So, the book I got is by Richard Lehman. He was the same author I got in the last book. Um, I haven't actually read his one yet. I read the two new books. I haven't read his one yet. I got The Cellar. Is it The Cellar? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was The Cellar. And this time I got Darkness, Tell Us. So that's really interesting. I like the covers. That's funny I got by the same author. I hope they're good. <laughs> um, I'm going to read his ones next, I think. Um, no one writes like a layman and you're going to have a good time with anything that he writes by Dean Coons. Okay, I actually really like Dean Coons. So the fact that he uh, kind of wrote a little thing there is good. Because I like him as an author. So let's see what this one says on the back. It starts at... It starts at the end of term party. Six college kids and a Ouija board. The board that Professor Kareen uh, Dalton has hidden at the back of the cupboard and sworn never to touch again. Not after Jake's death. And now here they are. And now here are these kids falling for the revel uh, revelations of the spirit called Butler, swallowing its promise of fortune hidden in the mountains. Not that Corey believes they would be stupid enough to head into the wilderness and to, uh, of the say-so of a child's plaything, to embark on a two-day hike into the unknown where any uh, foul danger may lie in wait and cut and slice and tear them limb from limb. But then, professor or not, Corey could be wrong. That sounds really, really good. So this is like a creepy hiking story. Um, set about from a Ouija board experience so that sounds really really interesting it's quite a chunky book but yeah wow I'm really happy with this month's box I really really like all the books they all sound amazing so to recap what we got we got three books all sound really really good so we have like a creepy like I said a hiking story um, with teenagers in the woods and the Ouija boards and then we have a gruesome meat human meat factory story and then we have like what seems to be a haunted house story with maybe a bit of a twist so yeah really really looking forward to reading all these books they're really good books this month so we also got the two bookmarks we then got the um pin badge which i really like a whole bunch of teas coffees hot chocolates to enjoy and then last but definitely not least is the chocolate bar so yeah i'm really really happy with this month's box like i said i will leave all the information for this box down below and um, if you have any questions and also leave them in the comments down below and i will answer any book recommendations i'm really excited for these books i can't wait to read them and um, if you'd like to see more horror book unboxings and horror book reviews then subscribe to this channel i will be definitely reading those books next and i will be reviewing them on this channel so if you want to know what they're about then like i said like and subscribe and yeah if you've read these books and um have heard of them or interested in them also let me know because that would be cool and yeah that's all i really have to say so thank you for watching as always and until next time bye guys